to get right back on track. Yeah, he started carefully, picked his punches, worked his jab. And a beautiful right hand from Korn. Just a short little chop and shot, but look at the damage it did. Excellent, excellently timed. That's all this hard work, all the preparation, all the sparring. It was just a reflex punch, but that's what that sort of preparation makes you do. He was quick to seize the opportunity and rush in, and a bunch of punches, combinations going in, have Fagan over again. Bravely, he got up. He certainly got some, some guts, Fagan, but he's going to have to have some more. After that nightmare, first round in Manchester. What about that from Amir Khan? Oshin Fagan has had the minute. Is that long enough? The green trunks of the Irishman. Uppercuts from Khan, who in terms of skills is just levels above Oshin Fagan. Body shots. Wrapping home. Then he covers up nice as he as he goes out of the way and then unloads again. Beautiful work from Khan. Yep, lovely jab. Not rushing in, is he? Taking his time and accuracy spot on. Good uppercut. Move really well there, Amir Khan. And again. Three punch combination of pure precision. Mickey Vaughan is looking very closely because O'Sheen Fagan is taking so many of these clean. He's a tough man, Fagan, but he is well out of his depth here. Body shirt might have hurt him there. Fagan blood from the nose. He just can't cope with Khan. And an uppercut. And he turned away there. Fagan hurt. All too much for the Irishman. Well, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. John Green the for the tails in. Mickey Van. Oh, he's just about got in. He took two or three more there. The Sheep Fagan. But Amir Khan comes back in style. There's the response to the critics. Yes, Oshin Fagan had been beaten five times before. But the manner of victory was very impressive indeed, Glenn. It certainly was. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., false battle for good fighters, couldn't hand out that sort of punishment to Oshin Fagan. That was very, very good, very sharp from Korn, and a very confident display. Really did look magnificent. Punch perfect. He did everything right. A huge hug from Dad Shah. They're so very close. He's worked really hard, Amir Khan, out in America. And Freddie Roach, well, the word will get back to him out in Vegas about how good his young charge looked tonight. The towel comes in there. The referee hasn't seen it, but look at the salvo of punches. Left, right, then a left hook. Ricky Van dives in to save Fagan. But the damage had already been done. Just tending to Fagan in his corner at the moment because they were hurtful punches. And Amir Khan sizzles here at the XL. What was impressive was the accuracy, the speed and the accuracy of those combinations. He worked so well. Defence good, rehabilitation, fantastic. And Oshin Fagan's OK in the corner, and that's good to see. Welcome back, Amir Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 37 seconds of round two, your referee, Mickey Van, has stopped the contest. He deemed that Oshin Fagan was in no position to continue the winner and the new WBA international lightweight champion in the blue corner from Bolton in England, Amir Khan. Smiles from Amir Khan.
who faced the music and, and the media after Bradis Prescott. And a positive end to the year. The boy wonder may just have become a man in the last few months. Plenty still ahead. Audley Harrison, Martin Rogan, important heavyweight battle. Olympic gold medalist against the prize fighter champion. There's Jesse Aravello with Amir Khan, the assistant who came over. Wasn't really needed. Khan got it all right. The American adventure, the training's paid off. And expect a big 2009 from Khan. The bigger test to come, but it was an important one tonight. You've got it? to say well done to Amir Khan. You know, he's answered his critics. He come back well. He did everything that's asked him. He showed a real heart, you know, level-headed, did everything that's right. He's come back, put up a great performance. He accepted defeat with dignity, went back to the drawing board. He's come back. He's shown some great skills, and now he's well and truly back. Up at dawn every day in the Los Angeles training. So dedicated, he wants it, Amir Khan. He's only 21, there's time. Let's see what he thought about it all with Ed Robinson. Well, Amir, was that exactly what you and your career needed? Yeah, definitely, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it was gonna be tough to get back in the ring again after the last defeat. But, you know, I knew I went wrong. Um, I knew the mistakes I exactly made in that fight. And, you know, Ozzy Fagan's a fighter who just doesn't go down, you know, keeps on coming. If you look at his record, you know, he's, I don't think anyone's done that to him. Um, and I said, whoever I was going to fight, I'm the worst opponent they can have. What was so different about your performance tonight? Well, you know, working with Freddie and Dean Powell and Jesus, Jess, uh, um, you know, it's, they told me to be pace, pace yourself, you know, be patient in the fight. Don't look for the knockout. It'll come itself, and that's what I did today. You know, um, I was catching all the shots, right? The defence is getting better and better. And, you know, the job is my main punch now you know freddie said you got a brilliant job you should use your job uh to you know prepare knockouts and they'll come themselves were you anxious beforehand after what happened against prescott i know you were so positive in the build-up but there must have been some demons there well you know i was a bit nervous um a bit more nervous than normally but you know i was dead relaxed and chilled out i knew it's another day in the office i'm gonna go in there i know how good i am i know what mistakes i made last time and i'm not, I'm not gonna make the mistakes again you know training with the pound for pound best fight in the world manny pacquiao you know that built my confidence up and, you know, I went in there and just did the job. Motor Frank Warren, were you impressed by Amir tonight and what's the future? I was pleased with the jab, that was the most important thing. Going down, he was, there was a lot of head movement there and the hand speed. He, I mean, he was throwing combinations going off his back foot, which is, you know, I've not seen him do that. So, was, you know, I was really pleased with that. We'll fight again in February, um, probably towards the end, either the 21st or the 28th of February. Amir, can you fulfil your potential and become a world champion eventually? Most well, definitely, you know, this is another stepping stone. I've, I've got through this now, and, you know, all I want to do is go up and up and fight better opponents, and, you know, I've got a beat of Brady Prescott. It'll be a good fight in the future to have again. You know, I knew where I went wrong, and I'm not going to make the mistakes again. Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Nicky Piper, a really good confidence.